Wednesday, guys. I know the light's a little bit low. I'm going to try it because I actually <laughs> look better in this low light. I am in my new apartment. Namaste. It's Yogini Kala. I'm so glad you're here. I've been wanting to make a video for you. It's sunset, but I think I waited a little bit too late. And um, I'll probably turn on this other light soon. But this actually, in terms of having you see what's behind me, I'm working on some artwork. But I will be taking you through and showing you a vision board that I made and talking with you about how to create one for yourself. Okay, that really works. All right, so right behind me now is, yeah, I think I gotta go turn the light on. <laughs> I've adjusted the light. <laughs> and so this uh, piece that I just started working on, you guys, I'll move this back so you see if you can get a bigger bigger view of it. Oh, I'd have to go really far back. Okay, it's a Buddha-inspired face. Uh, it's a female face, but I wanted it to be unigender, <laughs> basically, and that sort of neutral, calm, meditating face. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. And it is going to stay very light and washy. You know, it's not going to have a lot of paint on it. It's more like a, a drawing, but I'm using wet media. I'm using thinned out paint. So anyway, I'm really psyched about that, but I wanted to show you a vision board I'm working on. So I will put a link below where you can get my tip sheet on how to make a vision board. Okay, so it's a, it's not an e-book, it's not long and convoluted, it just gives you the steps to making a successful vision board. I do want to share with you, I've had some amazing successes with vision boards. If you are uh, visual, which most people are, most people that's our strongest sense, um, they can be amazing. Um, I have gotten scholarships that I put on vision boards that I didn't know. The school I was applying to, I did not know the scholarships existed. I have gotten in magazines that I put on vision boards. I have, um, including Essence and Self, put them on a vision board, Yoga Journal. They were all on a vision board. Um, the exact amount of the scholarship, um, getting into schools, um, it's just been amazing. There's one other major, major thing. I mean, the, the amount of a particular uh, grant was exactly what I put on the vision board, exactly. So part of me uh, wonders if it's more, I think for some people they may just be having like, uh, be being intuitive and being psychic and then putting it on the vision board in advance or is it a co-creation? So that's a question for you. So I'm gonna share this vision board to inspire you. It's not that I think it's perfect, but I really quite like it. I think it's a very nice one. And as an artist, um, maybe I'll, I'll give some tips in this, but I think I just want to show it to you and talk you through it. So this is for my um, art career. Now typically when I do a vision board, um, my main vision board has multiple areas on it, meaning, you know, career, family, um, you know, if it has that uh, uh, health, actually I don't, yeah, no, I think I have a health corner on mine, but different topics. But this particular one is just for the art career, which as you guys know, I'm restarting after, you know, getting, um, just really being deeply depressed and um, after some um, on the job bullying that really just left me um, not able to be creative. So this one, I'm just going to hold up. So, and hopefully you can see it. So one of the key things with vision boards is to start with the large areas first. So start with the backgrounds first. So I found this image from a Thich Nhat Hanh, the, the um, Buddhist uh, meditation teacher and monk that Martin Luther King Jr. had actually nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, back, I believe, in the late 60s, so he's quite elderly now. But this calendar had some of his quotes, and I love this image. So I just used the image of the peacock. The peacock is usually associated with royalty, and it's just obviously a beautiful bird. And also, I believe, with creativity. So I just loved it. I love the flowers. I love the actual image. So this is not my art. This is from a, a Thich Nhat Hanh calendar. Lay in the big images first as the background. So I didn't cover this very much. But it is, it is sort of underneath. There's a picture of me. Now, mind you, it's a couple of years ago. <laughs> but I really like this picture. I was in Italy. 
And um, this picture is of, in this corner, is of a beautiful space in a warm climate, right? So that would be nice like an outdoor patio. So that's something, because I'm trying to evoke the lifestyle that I would like. And I'll show you some of the big areas. I went to try out different fonts for a successful artist, and I just intended to cut it once, just to put successful artist. But I did it in colors, and then I realized I liked the repetition. So hopefully this isn't reversed, and it just says successful artist over and over and over. And I really liked it, because it was in color. Okay? So this is about growing my art career. So uh, the tip is, start with big, the big images first. Put in your background first. Uh, there's some other tips to that, but in this one I didn't use some of the tips that I would give you. I put a Buddha image here, just as inspiration and serenity. Um, I found this image of a hand, and uh, it says grow, for the metaphor of grow the business. Uh, a, a beautiful town, could be in Spain, perhaps, or Caribbean. Um, it actually is Antibes. I don't, it's not that I even want to go this specific place to evoke that old world charm. This is uh, pictures of when I was in Venice. I actually cut it. It was from a museum guide. And um, I have a drawing of the Michelangelo's David, which I'll actually maybe show you. It's on my desk. When I did visit Italy, I did a drawing of that. So yeah, this is the drawing I did. It's small. Like, this is my hand, so it's a small, relatively small drawing I did of Michelangelo's David um, when I was sitting in front of the statue in Italy. I did finish it when I got back home, but it was nice because uh, while I was drawing it, uh, an Italian lady came over to me and said, you know, her English wasn't very good, but she basically said beautiful and uh, just was very complimentary and I I was like oh thank you thank you well I'm an art teacher or whatever but it's very sweet and so this reminds me of Florence she's just I like this picture of this dancer and she's supposed to represent like a muse and you know she's doing like a beckoning gesture so I just thought that was beautiful I think I got that from a yoga magazine and I liked the pants she's wearing um, so successful artist Big picture here, the words here, large picture here, picture of me, a picture that could be me as a little girl. Can you guys see that? Hold on. At the bottom, and I made it so it's almost like she's sitting on the porch. As I said, a picture of me from some years ago when I was in Italy, but I like it. It's a little youthful, but whatever, whatever. And then I found a picture of an art studio. That's Let's see if you can see that. It's an art studio right there. Okay. So you want to lay in the big images first. It's important also, it's nice to include yourself in your vision board. And then the basic other thing then, the last thing I'll tell you about, is then add the text, okay? I recommend adding the text last. And as I said, if you want me to get into more detail, um, let me know and I will make a video. It's just... I actually have plans to make a step-by-step -step video, but I wanted to get something out quick for you. So you can see also I move the different images throughout the yellow. There's a little uh, picture of some school kids in Africa, and a school was built for them from a charity because I want to be able to donate, um, to donate to help different charities. Time to Thrive, I found that. To Achieve Financial Security. Driven to Succeed. Um, my art in global collections and live artfully because that space looks like where you would just relax right in a warm climate and just chill out now I will put specific financial amounts that I want here I haven't decided on that yet and I may add a little more but you can see it's quite rich visually meaning it, it's it's pretty it's appealing uh, it, and it works for me you know I know you know, I want a nice art studio, a large studio. This is evocative of beauty, which is what my art is about, beauty and spirituality. I definitely want to be able to travel to Italy um, again and spend some more time there. So, hope this inspires you. Give me a thumbs up, give your comments, and if you want me to make the specific video going through it, 
let me know below and also as I said I'll put a link where you can get the tip sheet that tells you the steps to making your own vision board and just the process of cutting out the images takes hours but that process helps you narrow down what it is you desire so namaste beautiful be well I will be making a video for Wednesday and for Saturday and it's super hot here I had to turn my fan off because I don't like air conditioning but I had to turn my fan off to record for you otherwise it was like messing up my voice so anyway, <laughs> namaste, much love, bye-bye.